Hello friends, welcome. This is Remy from Remy's World. I share a lot of cooking recipes in my channel. Today, I'm going to share a day in my life where I'll be doing a lot of cooking. I have an order and I'll stroll around the garden. So let's see what I'm going to prepare today. So here I've started making the lunch box for my kids. Their school have reopened today. And this is spicy macaroni that I'm going to make for them. They want little vegetables not much so i have added only bell peppers here half bell pepper half onion and here i'm adding few spices so here this is the dried parsley flakes salt i have added per taste oregano so i'm adding one teaspoon of each spices here this is one tablespoon chili garlic paste this is the brand that I've used and adding the cooked pasta here cooked elbow macaroni give it a good mix very simple yet super delicious lunchbox idea that you can make for your kids even grown-ups can make i've made two different type here this is less spicy that i made for kids school lunch and it's ready once cooled down i served it in their lunch box so this is i'm making the breakfast for them they want to have bread and omelette today so they both have i have two littles and they both have their own choice one wants little spicy they want he wants onion and green chilies and all the spices like this other one just oregano or Italian seasoning in his omelette so I make two different types of omelettes and bread this is for the breakfast first day of school the cast iron is hot added oil and add the omelette the egg batter here and the omelette is ready So everyone has their own different taste and choice so I make accordingly. By the time they are doing their study, they try to complete one of the app they do normally and they are doing their work right now. Before going to school, I'm preparing the breakfast here. The lunch box is ready. This is one recipe that my kids always love in their lunchbox. They every time tell me give this uh, spicy macaroni every day for our lunch. So after dropping them in the school, I stroll around in my garden. I love to see the flowers blooming every day in my garden and I just enjoy this moment. Now I prepare the breakfast for my husband before he leaves for work. So he doesn't carry his lunchbox but I do prepare the breakfast for him. So he also wants a spicy omelette and I have made spicy macaroni for him. So we had two different options for the breakfast today. I cook pasta and make two different types of macaroni. One for kids that is less spicy and for us a lot of veggies and spicy. So this is his bread and omelette that I'm preparing. He wants veggies and chilies and all the spices in his omelette. So it's done. Now for the lunch I have made cumin rice here. I will share in the link below how I make the rice if it's something you would like to know. I will share the link. Easy tip to make the perfect cumin rice. Fluffy and very good. Next for the gravy I'm going to make Paneer curry. Paneer is basically a cottage cheese. It's made of milk, but not the one that we, we get in US stores. 
US normal grocery store. No, the cottage cheese is totally different. Here you can see it's more over like a tofu. So to make this here in a pan, I have taken oil, ginger, one garlic, one green chili and one whole onion. So here I'm cutting it all in big chunks like this because we are going to make a puree out of it. So here I've added salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder. Give it a good mix and let the raw smell of the onion go. Here I'm adding cardamom pods. Give it a good mix. So I've added cardamom pods and cloves, two cloves to give a flavor. Added one whole tomato. So once the mixture is cooled down, I will make a puree out of it. So here I'm putting it, transferring it to a jar. This is how the cottage cheese or paneer looks like. Very similar to tofu. The only thing is the milk that is different. So here it is a normal cow milk and in tofu we add we make it with soy milk so here i have added the paneer to the same pan and green peas this is optional if you don't like you can avoid adding the green peas but it gives a nice combination you know paneer and green peas so i've added the puree to it and added few dried parsley or you can add fenugreek leaves these are dried fenugreek leaves adding the garam masala that is the all spice mixture give it a good mix so i've added one small size butter and let this cook for five to ten minutes lunch is ready and here i'm getting the fulfillment order done so i will go to the nearby post office to do the shipping I come back from the work and then go to the bus stop to pick up my kids. Serving the lunch for kids. Rice and the paneer curry that I made. Kids loved it. In the evening, it's time to pluck some veggies from the garden. So we harvested zucchini, squash, cucumbers, beans. So I made beans for the night and we had rice and paneer curry also. So this is the yogurt, mango yogurt or mango sherbet that I made in the evening for kids and they loved it. I'm so happy to share a day in my life with you all. I hope you like the recipes that I shared with you. Would like to know some comments from you. Thank you so much. Take care.